What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like, like we, we never, never left. left. You already know what it is. You know what the business is. And you already know it's a pleasure whenever we get together. Thank you guys for tuning in, pulling back up for another movie reaction. Today, we're going to be getting into fried green tomatoes. Yeah. And, oh, this is back... This goes back to 1991. I'm excited to get into this movie. The only thing I can think of, fried green tomatoes, is like the appetizer that we get. <laughs> Where do we get it at? We get it at, um, no, at the cotton patch. We we only got it the one time that your mom had got it, and I was like... You didn't like it? <laughs> I, actually, I actually enjoyed it. Because I, I think thought, you I, liked it, but I, I was—I mean, it wasn't gross, but I was like, mm -mm, it's "I'm not getting this again." Fried green tomatoes is a southern delicacy. I'm not talking about, you know, hey, what if it's good to you, it's great to me. If okay? it floats your boat, you know, what I, I mean? am just not gonna put that in my mouth. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, they're good. They're okay, good. it wasn't gross. Yeah. I'll say that much. But I'm excited to get into this movie hmm. for multiple reasons. One, we have to give a big major shout out to our. MVP, VIP, Patron, <laughs> Mr. Ross J. Thank you so much for this request and thank you so much for supporting yes, Asian and BJ as well. Um, and we got to give a big major shout out to all of the fam as well because I know this movie has been requested so many times. Yes. <laughs> for us to check it out. I know that there's a couple out there. Uh, who say that this is their favorite movie. And Fried we are missing out. So this is more of like what? A couple's kind no, of like no, no, a no, sit no. down, a couple's vibe. A I couple's meant a movie. couple people okay. out there whose this movie is their favorite. Their favorite. Yeah. Okay. That's what I meant to say. So that I sounds good. If, if this is one of their favorites, then hey, it may have some sentimental value to it. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm excited to get into it. I've never seen this movie before. I actually had never heard of it until y'all told us about Fried Green Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the heck is that? That's an actual movie? Like, what? I've, I've heard of the title. <laughs> every time I, every time, like I say, every time I would think of this movie, it would always harken me back to, like, that appetizer. Yeah. Fried Green Tomatoes. Like, you know, that's one thing that even my grandparents, everybody used to always make back in the day. Really? Yeah. Have you eaten them a lot then? Like cotton patch was the first time you had it. No, it's not the first. That time was I had the first it. time I had ever had it. When we had it there, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But see, but when I was a kid, I didn't really like them. But as I got older, it's it just like once you see something so many times, people make it all the time. It yeah. just seemed like it just comes second nature to you. I can so, see that. So fried green tomatoes. It always just this movie always just had me think of something that, that it was like southern, like it had like a southern feel to it. So. Okay, that's a good way to compare. So that kind of takes me there a little bit too. Now mm. you say that. So, okay, we about to see. So, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon and check out all of our unedited, uncut videos, behind the scenes footage, Patreon polls, and access to all of our TV series as well. And for everybody that asks us about how to request a movie, you have to sign up for the VIP Patreon, okay? Y'all can go to our website and look at all of the movies, all of the... TV series, everything that we've reacted to that's on Patreon, everything that's on YouTube, because the list is not going to be the same. Let me just say that. Some stuff we do on Patreon is not on YouTube, unfortunately. So, all that to say. Are you ready? Absolutely. Let's okay, go. let's get into it, y'all. All right, let's check it out. Here we go. Let me go ahead and get the popcorn. You know how you know how when you get the popcorn, you got the butter like on the side. You just get that little popcorn. And you just like slide <laughs> it and you just rub it all in. You know, I gotta blame Mary for that because now she has us so hooked on this. Like, yeah, popcorn would never be the same now that Mary saw your fault. Just know, <laughs> popcorn would never ever be the same. Now, like even our kids, when when Kate, like when our daughter makes it, she has to do the whole spray the butter thing. She got to get the seasonings together. Mm -hmm. Like now, it's like that's the only way that we'll eat it. <laughs> and we can't just make it in the bag it's now. It's good though. It yeah, so good. Chain. And one thing I like about it is that you have so many combinations that you can just add to it that just just spices it up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like popcorn is never ever. It's never. Gonna be, it's just not gonna be the same again. But it's so fire though. Just saying. All right, y'all. Please excuse me, y'all. I'm eating, I'm eating popcorn, 
beef jerky. Yeah, we haven't eaten yet. Pretzels. And this one is just going to just snack away until he gets something to eat. Mm. <laughs> All right, y'all. So here we go. <clears throat> oh, man. That's the car coming out of the water. Mm. Kathy Bates. Oh, uh-oh. We saw her in, um, uh... God, don't tell me, don't tell me. Oh, that's a Model T. She was the crazy lady. <laughs> yeah. The obsessed fan. The psychopath. Okay, we got the railroad tracks. Sounds a little southern to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it already sounds like, oh, and, and Cicely Tyson. <laughs> it do got that southern feel to it a little bit. Yeah. Whistle Stop Cafe. There she go. She must not be from the town. That, that's what it is looking like. Where did you hear that? What? Train. No, I didn't hear no train. I didn't see one either. <laughs> Why did you tell me to turn right 10 miles back? You got a negative sense of direction. Huh? Sorry. She got a sense of direction like you do. <laughs> Don't ever give you the map. <laughs> hey, have my sweet Auntie V this afternoon. Remember us? Don't you look pretty. Brought you something? <laughs> Evelyn loves you. Honey, I guess it'd be better if you just wait out here for me. I'm, I'm waiting outside. <laughs> what do you think it's best? Yeah, I do this time, okay? Have a nice day, Aunt Vesta. Don't you pitch your fit like that. Aunt Vesta. What's going on with Aunt Vesta? I guess that's where they keep them. Uh, I guess. When I was in the hospital, the nurse gave me one of them fleet enemas this is fond of. Mrs. Cleo Threadgood. 82 year old widow, imagine that. <laughs> Actually, everybody calls me Nini. Of course, I'm just visiting here. Did you ever have one of them fleet animals? No. You'd remember it. Sounds uncomfortable. Yeah. Mrs. Otis don't know it, but I'm going back home just soon she gets settled in good. The name Itchy Thread Good? Ring a bell? No, ma'am. I don't think so. You'd remember her. See, I was practically adopted by the Threadgood family. I married a brother, Cleo. Oh. Uh... It's she and her friend Ruth ran the <laughs> Whistle Stop Cafe. <laughs> it's she was a character, all right. <laughs> How anybody could have thought she murdered that man is beyond me. I beg your pardon? Well, you sit and relax a while. I'll tell you all about it. Oh, now, let's see. Um, I remember the day they pulled that truck up out of the river. Oh. Imogen Louise Threadgood, this is your mama. Come down here right now. Do you hear me? Come on down a little bit. There's no firing squad waiting for you. Now let us see you. Oh, you look so pretty. Look at her knees. <laughs> Julian, hush. <laughs> you look awful nice in there. Look just fine, Iggy. She looks like a monkey. Julian. <laughs> She about jumped off of them stairs. You know it matters to her. Huh? This is your wedding day. Ah. Oh, look. <laughs> I get to take Helen high water to get her in a dress. 
What, them scars on her knee like that? Make sure you got the best looking, most charming brother in the world, okay? You will not. <laughs> got you out of the tree now, didn't I? Did not. Into this estate, these two people come now. If any man present can let him speak now or forever after hold him. Does she have on a tie? Oh my gosh. <laughs> she was not putting on that dress. Do you know any reason why you may not justly be joined together in holy matrimony? Do you now confess it? Yo, you better stop. <laughs> it is then your will to proceed. Do you, Charles Osgood, justice? I guess she said I do. Oh, oh everything looks good. Give me the rascal, you. Oh, that was Cicely Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> Three seconds, just like that. Oh, little dog. Did it kill them? No, oh, they flew off and took the lake with them. Out of this very day, that <laughs> lake is somewhere over in Georgia. <laughs> they bred good. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a good story. <laughs> <laughs> Just envision it. Here, damn ass. Got it. Oh, oh I'm in. <laughs> got it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. It looked like his foot. I thought. I thought I saw that too. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, please don't tell me. No, no. Everyone took it as hard as Itchy. Everyone thought she'd die right along with him. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Damn, what a tragedy. What is the first thought that comes into your mind? Divorce. Remember when marriage cancer used to tell you to wrap yourself in cellophane to put a little charge into your marriage? Do we really pay for these lectures? So you you. <laughs> she did it. Man. <laughs> Evelyn, are you gone insane? People can see you. What if I'd have been a paper boy or something, honey? Get, get in there. <laughs> thinking about it. Evelyn. <laughs> You know that of this baloney is an assertiveness training class for Southern women, but that's a contradiction in terms. Especially you, sweetheart. You're living in the dark age. I like I, I like that lady accent. Yeah. I love that accent. Me too. Mmm, oh, smell good too. Oh, this looks good. Indeedy. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, there you go. That's the idea. Cut the TV on. <laughs> Let's watch the game. <laughs> See? Why don't you come in and sit down at the table and have dinner with me? I'm sorry, honey. The game's almost over. I'm just good over this bit. <sighs> move. In other words, you need to move. Would you still be watching the baseball game? No, honey. I'd probably be checking you into the loony bin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, checking you, checking you into the loony band. <laughs> Maybe she should try it. Oh, look, they're back. Huh? Hi, sugar. How's my little dumpling? No, 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 no man. Now let me back up a bit. Itchy never quite got over losing Buddy. He was 18? 
The man whose murder got her arrested. Well, hello there, miss. And who might you be? Tawanda to you. Who are you? Frank Bennett's the name, Miss uh, Tawanda. I must say, you are looking mighty fine today. You a politician or this lion just running your family? <laughs> you either a politician or a lawyer. Because <laughs> you lying. <laughs> well, there you are. It's about time, Edgy. <laughs> Itchy. You don't look like the wild man of Borneo. Well, go. thank you. <laughs> Guess who's here? What is that? Oh, fish. Mm -hmm. Is that why you wanted to see me? Oh, well, we have so many nice things playing. Mm. Rue, you remember my youngest child? Well, of course I do. Hi, Edgy. Hi. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Oh, it's got somebody's got to help her. She probably don't want to see her. She's the reason why he's dead. Oh, because of that. The her hat. hat and stuff. Snakes and serpents. Mm. Hey, Scroggy, mm. you finally preaching about something you can do. As I said, snakes <laughs> and serpents take <laughs> Edgy is gangster. <clears throat> 53 and I him no. She is low key gangster. <laughs> Chance to get to know you. Maybe it'll be fun. Fun? Could you just spend some time with me? Please? She's not trying to hear it. <clears throat> huh? So she's not trying to hear it no. at all. Oh. She's like, how am I mean, get in? To put your foot up there. Come on, up, up you go. Hold that. Hold that. Get all in. I was about to say that train sound like it, it's it's getting ready to take off. Yeah. Where are they going? Oh wow. What are you doing? Come on, look. That's all the way through. Yeah. Oh, those are people that's living on living by the railroad. I'll tell mama, I'm not a good influence on you. You'll never jump, will you? Don't say never to me. Should I jump? No, you won't. Uh, when it slow down. You so. will not. And she jumped in heels. She did it. Does this hurt? <gasps> You better get you to a dock doctor. Uh -huh. Which way is it? About two miles down the tracks. <laughs> All right. That's a long Never way to walk. Never be able to carry me that far. That's a long way to walk with a hurt ankle. Oh. Aren't you ready yet? What? Uh. <laughs> this doesn't have anything to do with trains, does it? <laughs> We're not doing that today, are we? Fresh, honey. Yeah. Me too. There it is. Now what? <laughs> You'll see soon enough. Honey has something to do with bees. Got to, right? And all I know. Stay here. No matter what happens, don't move. I hear him. What are you going to do? do? Too. She better go up in the tree, I think. She is oh, a Oh, look, look. Okay, you go do that. <laughs> it got my skin crawling just looking at it. That's a lot of bees. <laughs> Yes, way. There's a way. I feel like I could never. I just couldn't do that, babe. <laughs> How does she? She crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, I know. I know. Get them off of you. There's no way. <laughs> Look how she looking like. And you would not be walking towards me with all the bees on. Right. <laughs> Stay back. Stay back. Here you are, my damn. This is for you. Why did you do that? You could have been killed. I'm sorry. Don't you want the honey? Got it just for you. It's all right. I do it all the time. I never get stung. Honest. Don't be mad at me, Ruth. Oh, Jim, not mad at you. No fooling. Why is she, why is she such a daredevil? Thought it might be crazy or something. No, I've heard there were people. Who could charm bees? I've just never seen it done. I thought it, hey, you're just a bee charmer. Edgy thread good. That's what you are, a bee charmer. 
And that's pure honey, too. Uh -huh. Straight from the honeycomb. Yeah, and you don't drink All right, either. now. Gonna be a spitter. Hold the bag. Gonna be a spitter. Swing, gonna be a spitter. She, she gonna Here spit at me. Oh, she gonna spit on the ball. Swing that bag. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> hey. Oh, my gosh. She swings like a girl. Oh. Could you come with me to the ladies' room? Do you find this threatening? Do you have a problem with your sexuality? Uh, no, ma'am. But um, I do have a problem with my girdle. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of glasses are these? Right, that you would need a mirror. <laughs> Sit on a mirror, eh? Paris is the word I All right, fried chicken. Mmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Look. <laughs> he not getting an idea, is he? Ed. He did not even wash his hands. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Not doing you any good then. Don't go tell him. Everyone needs a miracle in their life. Why does he barely pay her any attention out. though? Change the ordinary. I mean, he talks to her, but like he doesn't, he's not very attentive. Super attentive, right. That's why I said he, he not he not catching the idea. Look her. Do you like it? <laughs> speak. Well, uh, uh, who did it for you, darling? Or purple. Itchy just went back to her old way. Hanging out with Grady and the boys at the River Club. But after a few years, temptation got the better of her. Drove all the way to Valdosta, Georgia to see how Ruth was doing and all. That's when the trouble began. Uh-oh. What kind of trouble? I oh, know. Uh, is Ruth at home? You just tell us Bee Charmer from Alabama. Ruth? The Bee Charmer. There's one big person here to see. What is she saying her name is, though? Itchy? Itchy. <laughs> I thought she when she was did. a little girl, like when, when she, you know, she, she just she looked like a tomboy, but she was dirty and she just looked itchy. Oh, okay. I <laughs> thought she was saying edgy. <laughs> it, okay, itchy. I was gonna have a little conversation okay. with him about no, you're not picking on somebody who's understand me. You're not gonna do anything. You understand? You care about me. If you really do, you'll turn around and leave this minute. Well, what you want? Damn, son of a bitch. Wow. Ruth's a grown woman, and she knows what's best for her. Did you? Grady, hi. Did you? Will you dance with me? No. Oh, come on, Iggy. It's only dance. <laughs> Miss Iggy Threadgood, will oh, you oh, dance oh. with me? I will not dance with you. <laughs> she said, hell no. Go marry Gladys Moe. She just adored it. Fall on the head when she was just a child. Girl, Iggy Threadgood, that goofy girl. Call ah! Will you call him a goof? Now, now, you stop that before I get mad in a hurry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's an obituary. Hmm. Oh, no, honey. Ruth's mother died. And this is from the Bible. It's from the book of Ruth. And Ruth said, Whither thou goest, I will go. Where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people. My mom passed away. That that must have been the woman that came to door. Yeah. Came to answer the door. I thought uh, okay. I thought that was the lady that was that she was at the at the at the home with. But she did look different. Yeah. You and Big George wait out here for a minute. Mama died. I know. And I'm pregnant. She don't sound happy about that. Mm mm. Why don't we put three in one box? I fit all these in the car. You're gonna need a second. What the hell is going on here? Looks like your wife's leaving you, miss. I'm sure she is. Hey, don't, don't you touch her. Let go. Oh! oh. oh. Stop. Stop. You hurt her! Oh. Oh. I wouldn't do that if I was you, mister. The thing is, you might upset Big George, and uh, he's crazy. There's no telling what he might do. Show. Sure. What he said. Yeah, that's why I said you better think twice. Ah! Ah! Come on, hey, hey, come on, hey, come on. You okay? Go. If you ever touch her again, I'll kill you. Well, I sure as hell scared him, didn't I? Yeah, you sure scared him. The amazing Amazon woman. The hell is wrong with him? Sells his body parts to aliens. I don't think so. I think I had enough learning for the time being. Thank you. The lady back there. Oh, excuse me. Who are you? 
the lady with the accent. Is that not Carmella from The Sopranos? That, that she's talking to? That she was talking to that has the, the heavy accent. Let me look at her again. What did you call me? Beat it, yo, bitch. Yeah. Why are you being... I don't understand. Paper or plastic? Dude, this feels so useless. So... So powerless. Your body goes through that. But I can't stop eating. Every day I try and try and every day I go off. Look, she got the Cracker Jacks. <laughs> Candy bars all over the house. Candy bar ain't gonna hurt you none. What? No, but 10 or 11. Dang. I can't even look at my own vagina. Now, honey, I can't help you on that one. <laughs> The Lord's greatest gift. I don't believe there was a purer soul ever lived on this earth. I had him with me till he was 30. And then he went to sleep and wake up. Sometimes I can't wait to get to heaven to see him again. Mm. Wow. I heard that. It's a boy! I thank a little prayer of Thanksgiving. God damn it to hell she did it! Here's the room. <laughs> <laughs> How come they don't have enough sense to change their shoes? Now you just hold on there. No, y'all ain't fooling anybody, Grady. But I, I recognize those size 14 clod hoppers. <laughs> <laughs> Some more pie, Grady. Did you talk to the boys? You just keep them on out back there, you hear? Oh, there's body outside eating. Yeah. I'm sorry about spilling my food in there, ma'am. Uh, I'll just head on. Do you see that piece of land over there? That used to be a lake. Yeah. Oh, that's what's wrong with him. All these ducks come by, and they landed on that lake, and then the temperature dropped so fast, the whole lake just froze. The ducks took off and took the lake with them. Now that lake's somewhere over. That's the way I hear it. Go on now. <laughs> she tell him the same story. God bless you, ma'am. Oh, look at it. Look. Mmm. Oh. Just the restaurant? Yeah. I think those are tomatoes. So what do you think? They're okay. The truth. Um, they're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. well. Don't be shy. Tell me how you feel. They're a little burnt. Cajun style. Don't do that for. <laughs> I just thought you needed a little cooling up. You're right. Bless you. <laughs> no, not the, not the blueberries. Try these. <laughs> oh man. You need to make a little paste. <laughs> Christmas, are you two doing? Look at those bright green tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you for disorderly come? Oh, I'll rest. All right. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> rest. Uh, Bruce, I have been a bad influence on you. I agree. <laughs> Look like he got a turd on his forehead. <laughs> 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 The abusive husband. Huh? The abusive husband. Yeah. Oh, he's a rope been gone. She's been gone a while. Yeah. Uh oh, look. I knew that's what she was talking about. Mm hmm. You wouldn't deny a father the right to see his own son. Get you damn. Just Come on, Frank. Let's go. They need to get out of here. I'll be back. And then you and the baby gonna be back. I'd scare you. Go, son. 
should be. Get that one up. <laughs> he need to be teabagged. Get on out of here. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What the? Oh, no. It was Frank. He saw the baby. You sure it was him? Yes, I'm sure. So that's why the clubs was waiting. Let me take him. Don't worry, I mean, if he's dumb enough, come back here again. Grady and the Alabama boys will take care of him. And if they don't, I'll think of something. <laughs> don't take any chances. Promise me you won't do anything crazy. Me? No, me. If somebody do something crazy, it'll be itchy. Until the night of the town falling, Ruth was away at one of the Reverend Scroggins' many revivals. One thing a woman expects when she gets married is sympathy. Well, haven't you got that since you married from the whole town? <laughs> <laughs> World strangest married couple. Somebody always got to be a troublemaker. Oh. Oh, I got a, I got a bad feeling. Excuse me, sir. I don't believe you should be going anywhere with Ruth Bates. I don't know. Just look like he got cocked upside the head. That's it. Now, no, uh, what? we didn't see. Who did it and, and what did he get hit with? Most of you boys over there in Georgia, a little light on your feet. That's the way I heard it. Could I interest you in some bar? No, man. But that barbecue sure smells good. Best damn barbecue in the state of Alabama. Man, look, look how they got the grill out there, dude. Country style. I wonder what he's thinking about. I don't know, but he he sure looking at him like 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 he got some on his mind. What we talking about is murder here. Running afoul of the law and don't nobody get away with that. Not even a bunch of Alabama smart. Find so much as a half his head. I'll arrest you fast and you can slap a tick. Cause I'm the law and you can't beat the law. Oh, okay. Oh, man, now he, now he on her. Did you kill four? Is that a trick question? No, sir. Well, now, maybe one of these days you tell the truth. Just remember, we hang line niggas in Georgia just as fast as they do in Alabama. Yes, sir. I remember. I just, I just couldn't be living in a town where somebody could just talk to me like I that. I know. Just period. So, so we don't know what happened. <laughs> but the detective is on them like white on rice. Yeah, but he don't know nothing other than, than, than him telling him that he was coming to see his wife and his baby. Anything could have happened to him on the way. That's your story? That's what you sticking to? <laughs> That's what you sticking to? Anything could have happened. I need to know what happened to Frank. <laughs> Let's just say he's in a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Let's just say he... he he went gone. He gone fishing. He went fishing. <laughs> he gone, gone fishing. I've been out here all day. About to pull up to the wind, Dixie. I heard they still have wind Dixies around. Face it, lady, we're younger and faster. <laughs> wow. Uh oh. I think she uh I think she hit a breaking point. <laughs> oh. yeah. Look. What the? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> she teared it up too. Tear it up. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you crazy? Hey, it, girls. I'm older and I have more insurance. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Budget to people over 65. Their wrinkles sexually desirable. Writer of wrongs. Queen beyond compare. How many of them hormones you taking, honey? <laughs> she, she do seem like she got a different leash on life. Yeah. More energy. A little more zesty. A little zesty. You could hit someone six times by accident. Oh, yeah. Don't make such a big deal about it. What the hell is this? That's a low cholesterol, man. Happy Valentine's. Is that sushi? That's what it looked like. Hey. If I was gonna kill you, I'd use my hand. Stop! In the name of all you break my 
<laughs> I can't with this little trampoline in the middle of the... I can't either. Buddy. Are you kidding me? Open the door. Are you kidding me? No way. Cause that, cause that's Buddy Junior. What she said about it's yes, gonna be cold in there, so we might just well be the bug. Okay, the let's bring the cake for everybody in the cafe. Oh. Wait. Look, oh, he, did, he did, he did, he did, he did, he did. That's right, you gump faced blown up baboon ass bastard. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> One more outburst like that, and I'll hold you in contempt of court. You understand? Blown up face. <laughs> Did she say the wrong thing? Did she say the wrong <laughs> thing? Why did you leave with Itchy Threadwood that day? Answer the question, Mrs. Bennett. Because she she's the best friend I ever had, and I love her. Why she won't say that he was beating on her? The defense calls as his last witness know. the Reverend Herbert Scroggins. I don't know why she wouldn't say it. Drove into the rim, was long ago eaten up, and I don't give a good goddamn. <laughs> what we got us here is a case of accidental death. Case dismissed. Get on up out of here. <laughs> Even the judge didn't care. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I can't believe he actually swore on the Bible. Well, not really. If that judge had looked any closer, he'd have seen it was really a copy of Moby Dick. <laughs> it wasn't even the Bible. Yes, ma'am, I did, and I'll never break my If I live a thousand years, I will never forgive you for this. I don't know what's worse, church or jail. So he really didn't lie under oath? No. <laughs> uh. What in the Charles McGill? Tawanda done took over her. Uh. <laughs> you said Tawanda. Tawanda. We didn't see any point in telling her. It would just break her heart, poor old thing. But I am so glad I got a chance to meet you. You take care of yourself now. Bye-bye. Why wouldn't they tell her? Golly. So she not going home. And so she's been under the impression that she's going to be going home soon at, at some point. At some point. I just feel like they would tell her that though. <clears throat> At least you would think. Stay, honey. I look forward to them all week. So do I, Miss Threadgood. <gasps> oh, I can't believe you remembered and you made me fry green tomatoes. <laughs> They're delicious. It's your recipe. Are they cold? No, they're just the way we used to have them at the Whistle Stop Cafe. You couldn't be sweeter to me if it's my own daughter. Mm, that's that's so good. Good. <laughs> she put candies on them and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't feel 83. Sort of slipped up on them. Wow. <laughs> I never expected to live this long. Of course, the Lord takes us home when he wants us. Uh oh, she she about to say something. Punch in the nose. Can you play like everyone else? Hey, did I ever tell you the story about the oysters? All the millions of them just lying around. And God put Santa one in a mix of pearl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> about Eva's three-legged dog. How it never felt sorry for itself. How I'd be smart and dumb dog and not feel sorry for myself. You listen to everything I say, don't you? You heard every story in the book. <clears throat> oh, no. She got quiet. I knew it. No. It's all right, honey. Let her go. <laughs> Let her go. You know, Miss Ruth was a lady, and a lady always knows when to leave. <laughs> I think on our departed sister. Ruth affected everyone, even Smokey Lonesome. When he died a few years back, he had one possession on a picture of Ruth. He was in love with her from the first time he saw her. We all were. Man, you ain't never ready for that. No. <clears throat> Ruth and Izzy were brave, not me. I wouldn't be afraid of death if I would. I'd be more afraid driving in rush hour traffic. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh oh. Look, he came. He came right today. He better. Well, I don't mean to seem dense or anything, but what's changed? The air and the light. Hmm. You remember how you used to tell me you always wanted two women in your house? <laughs> oh. Was Mrs. Thread good? She needs my love and care now, and I'm gonna give it to her. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the gym. And if you won't listen to reason, there's always Tawanda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't wanna. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Tawanda. Keep out of reason. <laughs> Rose Hills. <clears throat> Mrs. Threadgood, the woman who lives here, are you deaf? All they told me was that the woman who lived in here died this morning. Oh, my God. What are you saying? Well, she died early this morning. They were short-handed, so they asked me to take all this stuff down. That's all I... Oh, man, she's just ripping it off, too. Happy! Oh, yes, this is what she wanted. What, to be dead? Go home. You just missed her. She left here in a yellow cab about a half hour ago. <laughs> oh, my God. God! <laughs> Not that I'm, I'm glad that Mrs. Otis died. It's, oh, God, I've got to stop her. <gasps> oh, man. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I'm literally like, <sighs> no! <laughs> She got in the yellow cab and yeah. she left. Just, just think of somebody telling you that <laughs> when you're already under the impression that they died and they're like, no, right? she, she drove to the house. Look, oh, look at it. And that I don't look like some blob from a horror movie. <laughs> well, with a little help from Iggy and Ruth. Got your room already. What does Ed say about all this? He'll learn to love it. <laughs> Unless he want to meet Tawanda. <laughs> Mrs. Otis was with Sipsy and me the night Sipsy died. Sipsy told me a story that night I've never told a living soul ever. The story about what really happened the night Frank Bennett disappeared. <sighs> Finally. I don't believe you should be going anywhere. Oh. <laughs> I told you you ain't going nowhere with Miss Ruth's baby. White Jerry would care why I did. Well, that's so hard now I can test it. Uh, excuse me here. I don't mean no offense, but I don't know who's less likely to convince the jury. <laughs> My mama or Mr. Smokey here. No offense, take. I think it's hog boiling time. <coughs> it ain't cold. Enough. It's hog boiling time. George. Uh-huh. When is that barbecue gonna be ready? Oh, it's gonna be ready any time now. <gasps> Whoa! To get me something. <laughs> Now, don't you forget to call me when that's ready. Hi. Right. I remember this part. Here you go. Miss Iggy. Yeah. Smokey left. Thought it'd be best under the circumstances. He asked that you tell Ruth goodbye. Shame he had to go. That's why Smokey left. Well, this is about the best barbecue I ever ate. <laughs> Secret in the sauce. <laughs> oh my gosh. He said that's the best barbecue he didn't ever had. Dipsy? My God. That frying pan did more than fried chicken that night. <laughs> did Iggy really barbecue Frank Bennett? Are you pulling my leg? Secrets in the sauce, so, so I've mm. been told. <laughs> you lying. I, I didn't know that. I'm still not sure whether Ruth ever believed Edgy didn't kill Frank. Sue's the funny thing sometimes. I feel better now. I feel better because all these people will live as long as you remember them. Mm. Amen. About what the most important thing in life. You know what I think it is? No, man. Friends. Best friends. Oh, Minnie. <laughs> Look. Oh. Wow. <laughs> the bee charmer. See, look, look. Iggy's alive. She's still out and about, charming bees and selling honey. Sometimes I think I catch a glimpse of her. Is she itchy? Maybe we'll see her today. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah.
Let me get the honey. It was never more than just a little knockabout place. Now that I look back on it, when that cafe closed, the heart of the town just stopped beating. It's funny how a little place like this brought so many people together. Like she never told what happened to Itchy, so I was sitting here wondering, like, well, she never told the story of what happened to Itchy. But I thought, I thought the entire time, like, I kept we kept saying Itchy, but it's Itchy. Itchy. Yeah. Itchy. Yeah. Babe, I asked you what it was. I thought it was Itchy. You said <laughs> she looked like a little Itchy little girl when she was a little girl. It's not the day Itchy. So it's Itchy. I Edgy. edgy. That's why I was like, I thought I heard her say edgy, and you said itchy. <laughs> <laughs> so we both heard it wrong. So it was edgy. It was sippy. Yeah, yeah. Sippy was the was sisly. Sipsy. You said sippy, babe. <laughs> Sipsy. <laughs> <laughs> sippy, sipsy. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, but I thought like. This was an excellent movie, actually. I yeah. really like the story in this, too. I Beautiful too. story. Awesome I always story, like, too. Yeah, it is. And I always, like, enjoy, like, when they tell the story. Like, whenever someone basically tells the story of, like, the entire movie, basically. And they're, like, kind of, like, narrating Narrating it. a little bit through it, and it kind of comes back, and it's like they're really living in this real-life moment, and then they go back into the story. And mm -hmm. then we're back into the movie again. Because, well, the narration is kind of similar to like when we watch like The Notebook because it's kind of yeah. being narrated oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. by the older man. Yeah. And, but like also for me, just like the wholesome story of like like what the movie is kind of like based on and what it's meant to be about like two best friends yeah. and having like a, you know, having somebody that's like a lifelong type of friend. Because mm -hmm. I've always been told, you know, like you'll be blessed or you'll be lucky to have like one person that you've like grew up with from childhood and actually be able to call them like a lifelong friend. Yep. And, and and that's what they were able to forge between the both of them. Yeah. You know, obviously it was, you know, it, it was due to like the untimely death of Buddy what yeah. kind of brought them together because, you know, Buddy was like dating her. Mm hmm You know? Yep. And, and that's what kind of like brought them together. And really it was Ruth that kind of like broke down Iggy to kind of like let her in because after Buddy died... She really Iggy was just kind of she was just she was just closed off. Yeah, even like her mom and her and her family couldn't really like get through to her, and the mm -hmm. only person that could was Ruth. Mm -hmm. Ever, yeah. And, and and then for them to kind of like, you know, and, and then that was like the nineteen twenties and the thirties. So there was so much other things going on because we saw, um, you know, like like the racial tension. Yeah, and and then you saw Ruth get married, and then she like left for a little while. But you can still tell that, like, when 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 Ruth left, it was like a piece of like Iggy left too. Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like they with the friendship and the bond that they had, though, that was just something that it was inevitable. Actually, like I, they didn't say, or did she say what happened to her son? That wasn't her next. That wasn't that wasn't him next to her, was it? No, that was that was Buddy, like her brother. Okay, Iggy's brother. They just buried. Okay, so buried they him never said buddy. like what happened to him. To then. Buddy Junior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was. I guess that's just. I don't think so. Completely. Buddy just grew up and grew up. Then. Yeah, he he just grew up. I would assume so. Yeah, because if she was this old in the movie, like I thought that was her though the entire time the way she was telling the story. I'm what? like. What made you think that it was her? Just how she was telling the story? Just the way she was telling the story, but but she never said that it was her. She never referred to herself as me or I in the story while she was telling the <laughs> while she was telling the story. But but for it to be as detailed as it was, the way she talked about Ruth and um, when she walked into the room and she had all those pictures on the wall of Ruth, that's what made me think that she was probably itchy. Like easy. there was some real connection with them because who else is going to have like all these roses and 
pictures of Ruth on their wall like that other than her with other the friendship her, that they had. Right. With you her know? being the with her being like the right my right hand. Yeah, basically. but I didn't really figure it out until like for some reason I was thinking I'm like so where is Itchy? Like are we going to see because at the very beginning when they showed the truck I thought the way she was telling the story, I really thought they were going to come back around and say that something actually ended up happening to her. Especially when the cop started saying that Iggy was going to be going to trial, like going to going to court and going. To, and I was like, oh man, okay, now I see what happened to Iggy. That's why she's not talking about it. Yes. But that, and for a second, like that's that's why I was like, okay, well it wasn't her. But when she walked in that room, uh, when when Evelyn walked in the room with her. And they showed the wall with the roses and all the the pictures, all of, the pictures of her. Stuff. That's when I was like, "It was confirmed, oh, like that. That's itchy. okay. I think I know that that's edgy now, but I wasn't sure because she still hadn't said it. Yeah, at, and, at that point. And maybe she wasn't referring to herself as edgy. Like, obviously, you know, she's eighty three. Could it mm-hmm. be that she was that she's sick to where she doesn't even know who she is, but she just knows the story of edgy. And Ruth. The only thing I didn't catch was why the lady didn't say because because uh uh what what's her name the late uh, Iggy well Iggy now we know is mm-hmm. is Iggy why didn't the lady that Iggy was taking care of like tell her like that her house was gone I didn't understand why oh, she didn't why Evelyn didn't tell Iggy yeah or oh, the lady that her house had burned down yeah like, oh it was was torn down yeah why didn't she just tell her that. Because Iggy thought the entire time that at some point she was going to end up going home. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't she tell? That's like kind of vital (laughs) in in terms of her leaving where she was to go home. Yeah. And there was no home for her to go back to to begin with. So I I didn't understand why she didn't tell her that. Mm -hmm. Or did I? Maybe there was something about it. I missed it. Obviously because there was the house was condemned. I I think the reason why she didn't tell her because she was going to be planning to, to see if she could come live with her. So it was like. I, I might as well not even tell her that something no, wrong no, with her no. house. Not her. The lady that ended up telling Evelyn mm-hmm. that Iggy didn't have a house. Like, the house was gone. Mm-hmm. Oh, the nurse. Right. Mm-hmm. That was... No. Oh, no. That the, the other... The lady that, that might have been, like, the granddaughter to yeah. Sipsy or somebody. Right. Uh-huh. Whoever Iggy was there taking care of in the nursing home. Remember she said that's the only reason why she was there was because she was taking care of somebody there. Mm-hmm. And the lady that, I guess she was like the granddaughter or the niece the or yeah. whoever came to see her. And she's like, oh, well, she doesn't, we haven't told her, but she doesn't have a home. And, and that's the reason why Evelyn started doing what she was doing. And she started planning on bringing mm-hmm. Iggy to her house. Mm-hmm. But she also never told Iggy that her house was gone. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, why didn't the black lady tell her that her house was gone to begin with? Unless she thought that Iggy was going to die there, too. Probably. Because she's at a retirement home. So. Okay. There probably wouldn't be any reason. But no, what, what I was saying is, like, even at the very end of the movie, how how she still was referring. Like, like she's still talking, like, she's not talking, like, in first person. It's like, she's Iggy, but she's, like, talk, telling the story as if she's not Iggy. Right. And Ruth. So, what I was saying is, like, with her being 83... Do you think that she's sick, like, as far as having maybe, like, dementia or Alzheimer's? But she doesn't even know that she's Iggy. But no. she's telling the story of Iggy, and she's telling the story of Ruth. Because she kept referring to Iggy maybe, and Ruth. But she, never, maybe, she, but, but, she, but she never said me, like... I don't know. How know? much of that could she not remember if she just sat there and told her about 20 years worth of a story, like, in detail like that? Everything that happened, even what Sipsy told her. She told it. Yeah, I know, but I, but I, I'm just saying it just seemed like if you just kind of like paid attention to that and her telling the story, you know, if you're gonna tell a story, you would tell a story like me, I'm itchy, like yeah, me and my best friend Ruth, we went and did such and such, but the whole time she kept referring to like there's an itchy and there's a Ruth. I thought that for a rather second, than though, not I kinda referring felt to like herself as itchy, so I kind of like caught that too. But that's the reason why I was saying I thought maybe like. <clears throat> going back to the house thing that yeah, that yeah. might have been a reason like something that's what I actually thought that for mm-hmm. a second when she said she didn't tell her and I was like oh, why wouldn't she tell her that unless she, she wouldn't even remember or know or 
like you know mm-hmm. like I thought for a second that that was why but I didn't I don't know but yeah, yeah I do understand what you're saying though but yeah, I, I kind of thought that too yeah and and I also enjoy the fact that you know that she will come and visit her at a retirement home because it you know it'd be it's, it's it'd be so many elderly people that end up in retirement right. homes and they never have any family members come and see them I know. And, and sometimes it just feel like sometimes we go to a retirement home it just seems like it's just like a a low energy place where like people are just alone and they're almost forgotten about so it was yeah. also good to see that she at least had somebody at her at her you know elderly age that really cared about her to come and see her to check on her because you cuz you just never know how they make somebody feel yeah. when 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 they're in a, in a retirement home and they feel like this is like my final place I'll never leave or go anywhere no you know never go anywhere else mm-hmm. and you actually have somebody that comes to see you check on you where you don't feel alone yeah because i know how it is at like retirement homes for like elderly people too well she got her got her you know? together because because after that like talking to itchy <laughs> like evelyn started she started coming too okay so itchy did a lot for her that's true that's you true know, in a short amount of time <laughs> a and, and, very and, short and, amount and, and of then time. think about what itchy did for ruth to make ruth be, be the woman that she was yeah. too so right. itchy definitely was she was definitely fearless but the part that i thought that she was itchy was early on in the movie when you looked at her shoes and she had on those dirty Chuck Taylors. Yeah. It kind of gave off like that tomboyish feel. <laughs> so early on, I thought she was already itchy. Yeah. Yeah, already, yeah. Because, right, yeah. because of how the movie started off with her being a tomboy with scrapes <laughs> on her knees, climbing the trees, yeah. fishing, beating up the boys. Yeah. So for, for me, that's when I thought that she was itchy. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But I enjoyed this. This was really good. What a treat. I yeah. enjoyed this. Nice, nice movie. Y'all got to tap in and let us know what y'all think about this. And moving forward, when <laughs> we go out and we have like fried green tomatoes, I'm going to think of this movie. Yeah, right. There's no way that you couldn't have that appetizer or, or have that dish and not think of this movie. <laughs> and not think about it. Yeah, I agree. So y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this. And if y'all enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. Mm. And we're going to see y'all in the next video. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Peace and blessings. Bye. Y'all take it easy.